Hi, I'm Matt, this is my channel Sorters Passion, and today I'm making an industrial clock. I've got this slab of walnut and this barrel ring from eBay. I want to merge the two into a clock. Something like this. Before I start the build, I have a competition this week. To celebrate reaching 100 subscribers, I'm giving away this faithful 600mm spirit level. For your chance to win, you need to like the video, spot the celebrity in the video, and comment their name in the comments below. You have until midnight on the 30th of September UK time. The competition is only open to people in the UK. On with the build! My first thought to flatten the board was to use my planes. However, after half an hour, I soon decided this was futile and needed a better solution. The problem is, it's too big to fit through my thicknesser, so I'm going to make a router sled. I've got this old side panel from a cupboard that I'm going to use for the base, and I'm attaching CLS rails to each side. The top is going to be a thin piece of MDF with walls made from CLS ribs in half. I'm leaving a little room in the top so the router doesn't bind on the walls. Now I cut everything to size. Next is the glue up. I'm using these scraps to lift the base so I can clamp it easily. I'm using loads of glue as I'm not going to screw it because the base is so thin. I get the clamps on and wipe off the squeeze out. While the glue sets, I'll start making the base. I'm using the table saw to rip these to exactly the same size. To attach these, I screw them in place, countersinking the screws so they don't scratch up my fancy workbench. Now the glue is holding, I can show you the basic idea. I'm adding stop blocks on each side to stop the top from sliding off. I'm aiming for square-ish. Now they're set, we're almost ready to start routing. But first I want to stop the router from routing into the walls of the base, so I add another couple of blocks. I'm getting a bit impatient this time, so I use super glue and accelerator. Now to route the channel in the base so the router bit can load through. I have a 20 millimeter flat bit in the router and I'm making a couple of passes. Now we are finally ready to start flattening that board. The bottom of the board isn't wobbling, so I can start routing straight away. I'm working along the board, taking small amounts off on each pass. Once it's pretty flat, I give it a sound. I'm rubbing some white spirits on just to see what the wood will look like. I'm now going to cut off the bit that I don't need so that I can make sure the bottom is flat too. Because it's quite heavy, I'm just going to do this with a Japanese pull saw. Normal hand saw will do the job just as well. Here we go again. I'm 
just going to give the back a quick pass with the belt sander. Now it's time to take the bark off. I'm just using the chisel angling away. I use a pad on my orbital sander to take the last bits off. Now to clean my ring. I'm taking the top layer of rust off with some sandpaper and to finish it off I'm using a wire wheel in my fake trimmer. Now to cut the slab to the right size. I decide where I want the slab to sit in the ring and draw around it. I then cut it out on my bandsaw. I then use planes, rasps and files to refine the edge. Now to attach the barrel ring to the slab. I use calipers to mark the centre line of the ring. Next I try to punch a hole with the wrong tool and then find a better option. I'm going to drill the first hole before it's in place. To can sink the hole I'm using a cone drill bit. I know I'm drilling into end grain and I know that's not going to be very strong but it's only to hold the barrel ring in place it's not really going to take any strength or strain so I don't think it's going to be a problem. I now drill the ring, count sink it and then drill the wood before driving five more screws in. Now to add the clock mechanism. The barrel ring isn't perfectly round so I'm going to use best guess to find the centre. Now I turn the slab over and mark out where I need to route the mechanism. I start routing and realise I don't see the lines, so I use a marker. Now I gradually lower the bit and carefully route out the hole. If it was for a client, I'd have created a quick jig, but as it's just for me, I'm doing it by hand. Now that's done, I'm going to add some boiled linseed oil to see what it all looks like. Whilst that cures, here's a quick word from one of our supporters. Hello, this is Matt's YouTube channel. It's a woodworking channel called Saw Dust Passion. Help support him, subscribe to his channel if you are remotely as gifted as he is. And you might think, who am I? Well, I'm not quite a wooden maid. Jet from the Gladiators, but I am Jet from the Gladiators, Diane Newdale. Subscribe and lots of happy hours making amazing things from the natural, beautiful resource that is wood. Bye. Now to add some keyhole hangers to the back. I roughly work out a centre line and then measure in 100 millimetres each side. I use this corner to mark the vertical lines. finally add the clock mechanism. Now I need to hang it on the wall.
I hope you like this project, it's been a fun build. If you spotted this celebrity, don't forget to enter the competition, just like the video and comment their name below. Plan to do more giveaways at major milestones, so if you want to be in with a chance of winning, please subscribe and catch the next one. Until next time, stay safe and follow your passion.